got a bottle of water for uh, free also. We can see. What you've just seen us be handed is part of our package where we get rental equipment for free if we sign up to their eco deal, which is we purchase um, one of these bottles for a hundred thousand and you get free rental equipment, um, not including computer. And part of that package did include two t shirts. Um, a couple of postcards and a couple of stickers.
Merci. Thank you. Good morning. So this is day two of our dive trip. Um, I'm just quickly having a look at the itinerary they sent. So day two, there we're obviously going to get uh, we're going to get in the bus again, and we're going to head out to uh, Pagnum Bay. Um, we're heading out to Nusa Penida today. Now I've done dive Nusa Penida a lot. Um, it's part of their Mola Mola special. Not sure what that means. Well, of course I know exactly what that means. That means they can. It's you're going to go out there and see a sunfish. Um, now I've dived hundreds of times here. I've been super unlucky. I've not seen a sunfish. I've seen a splash on the surface. I've seen it from a boat, but I've not dived one yet. Um, so uh, we've signed up to the Mola Mola Special. Um, heading out to New Spanida. So this is what I'm thinking is going to happen. This is just a guess. I reckon we're going to head out to Manta Point or Manta Bay. We're going to do a morning dive with the mantas, maybe two dives with the mantas, and then we're going to head back round into Crystal Bay. Crystal Bay, I think, is the most famous point um, around here for sunfish, for Mola Mola. So this is my prediction. I predict Manta Bay or Manta Point, depending on what the weather's like. Maybe we might do both. Maybe we might go for the furthest Manta Point and then come back to Manta Bay. Um, and then bounce down, uh, bounce round into uh, Crystal Bay. Um, that's my prediction for the day on their Mola Mola Safari. We do have snorkelists on the boat today, so that would kind of make sense, um, I guess. Anyway, we'll soon find out. So, join me.
It's coat, 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 coat.
s'arrête.
doing this. It's okay. Yeah, I'm dead.
Good morning. So our final day's diving here in Bali. We're going to head up to the Liberty Wreck in Toulon Ben, um, where we're based at the moment in Sonor. It's a two hour drive maybe, maybe a bit longer depending on what the traffic's like. Um, two hour drive up Toulon Ben. Uh, we're going to do two dives on the Liberty and then turn around and head back again. Um, you, from our last video, we dived the wreck quite extensively. Um, I'm looking forward to going up the it again. It's a great dive site. This time I've got my GoPro 9. Um, we'll see what um, the GoPro 9 can do, make the wreck look like. So far I've been super impressed with the 9. It really makes the colours at depth pop, um, which is what the GoPro 4, that's the one I recorded on the other day up at Toulon Ben, didn't really do. Everything was a little bit blue and then you had to add in the red filter. Um, it seems like the GoPro 9 does keep those colours a little bit more. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the video footage of the Liberty Wreck um, after this day. Anyway, I hope you'll go and join us and we're going to go and die the Liberty Wreck. I've been too long, Ben. See you later. Past the terminal and then come more north and then just exactly like uh, on the a bit on the after the boat.
Hi. We've just come back from Tulum Ben. It was our last day diving with Aqua Marine Divers. Um, we've done four days diving with them and their slogan is we only dive the best dive sites. So um, this past four days we've been diving Eastern Bali and I've made some notes here and we're going to quickly review the trip. Okay. So if we go and look at dive sites first, what I've done is give them, mark them out of a five star rating. Now I'm perfectly aware different things happen at dive sites that can change the rating. So for instance, a particularly dull dive site can be made fantastic by an encounter of some kind with a marine life. Or the weather or visibility or there's numerous things and a one-off dive doesn't give the per doesn't doesn't let you um, give a honest score but I'm gonna do this from what I saw and from using my experiences of diving um, this is kind of how I rated them anyway we're gonna give it a go so five star ratings so the first day we dived Blue Lagoon and we dive uh, Japan. Blue Lagoon first. Now I was a bit hesitant about Blue Lagoon. Most dive centers make you do a try dive um, when they're first diving with you. Makes sense, um, but it's usually um, one of the more tattier dive sites. So I wasn't expecting much from Blue Lagoon, though I have dived it back in 2014 maybe, a long time ago. Anyway, Blue Lagoon. Notes I made, um, super easy site, mainly sandy coral bottom, uh, mini wall to the left, um, where the current can pick up on that. But what did surprise me is there was a, there's a real surprising amount of sea life on this site. Okay, you can move from Bommy to Bommy and even in the sand, there is marine life to be seen. So super easy, full of marine life. I thought that was okay. I thought it was a, I thought that was a good dive site. I gave it, I rated it three out of five. Okay, I thought it's super easy, but loads of marine life. So it never got boring. The next site we did after that was Japan. A new site for me, never dived before. There's a small wreck at this site, which I thought was the highlight. Um, it was heavily populated with fish um, and had a really large moray living in the bottom of the, in the hull of the boat. The problem with this site is hard coral. I mean, I imagine it was quite populated with hard corals. That's all been destroyed over the years. But the positive thing is um, there's a number of projects going on down there where they're trying to bring back the stag coral, the hard corals. So you can see all the artificial reefs under there where they're trying to um, reintroduce hard corals again. The highlight was the wreck. Another super easy dive. I only gave it two stars out of five. Once you've done the wreck, there's not a lot more to see there. Day two. Um, was the trip over to Nusa Penida. Um, I usually dive Nusa Lebongan. Um, so I'm a big fan of the dive sites out there. And I think the dive sites, well, for me, this was a test to see if Eastern Bali dive sites could match up with Nusa Lebongan. So we dive Crystal Bay. Crystal Bay is probably the most uh, dive, dive sites I've done living in Indonesia. Um, it's very popular to go and see if you can find a molar molar there. Um, it's super deep and the cold currents come up and hopefully they bring the molar molar up for cleaning, a number of cleaning stations along there. Um, so this was part of our package. So day two um, was the molar molar special and I assume that's we, we get taken out to Crystal Bay and and Fingers crossed, we see if we can see a molar molar. Um, 
it was interesting because all the times I've dived at sites, I've not seen a mola mola yet there, but we go, kind of go super deep um, on, the, on the slope to see if we can see one in the blue. Due to the experiences we had on the, due to the experience levels of the divers we have on the boat, we stayed really shallow um, and we didn't see much. In fact, for Crystal Bay, I mean, I would give Crystal Bay on its best day a four out of five, but for Crystal Bay staying super shallow, we didn't really see anything. There were still lots of fish, but there was nothing, nothing to grab you. Um, so I would give Crystal Bay a four out of five, but on this day, if I was gonna rate it, I'd give it a three out of five. There really wasn't a lot going on. Um, oh, and the water gets always colder there because they're obviously coming up from deep. So it can be a lot colder. We then went round to Manta Point. Um, from my experience, um, Manta Point is usually um, good. And if it, Manta Point's not good, you can go usually down to Manta Bay and you get mantas there. As it happens, um, at Manta Point today, we were um, we were very lucky. We had a numbers of mantas coming in. It was a, I've written here. We hung out at the cleaning station and got a super manta floor show. Um, lots of manta action. The viz wasn't great, but we got super close encounters, which does make a difference. Um, oh, and we plus we got a really big um, bamboo shark come right towards me and then duck under me. Um, that was really good. The bamboo shark was absolutely fearless. It was a big shark. Um, and so that was kind of made um, a highlight for me on that dive. Plus, there was a couple of times where the close encounters of the mantles were so close they kind of went straight over you. Um, so that was a real positive. So I've given this dive five stars. I guess if you go there and you don't see anything, um, it's probably a three star dive. But at its best, it's definitely a five-star dive, and the mantas are fantastic. And then the last dive of the day, we went to North Nusa Penida and dived along the wall there. Now that's divided into a number of different dive sites. We dived at SD, so cool, so cool because it's opposite a school. And compared to the last couple of dives on in eastern Bali. This is where Nusa Labongan, Nusa Panida just shine. The dive is kind of like a coral slope. It goes down really quite deep, but the coral's alive. The coral's, the coral's full of color, and there's loads and loads of fish. There's a, just little reef fish, but the, the, the coral's just teeming with, with life. And it's a huge, makes a huge difference to somewhere like the Blue Lagoon or Japan. Um, the colors, the coral, the fish, um, Nusa Panida, Nusa Lamong, and definitely have it on Eastern Bali. So that was our molar molar special, okay, over on Nusa Panida. Then the next one, we dive some new dive sites for me, I've not dived them before. So we had Gili Biha, I think I'm saying that right. Biha, yeah. Um, this look, this is a dive site, it, um, it looked like it had super possibilities. Now once again, due to the experience levels on the, of the divers on the boat, I don't think we visited its full potential. Um, so I would really look forward to diving this site again another time, because um, it looked like it had super possibilities. Um, it's a rocky wall which stretches down deep. Um, it also has an upwell of cold from the deep down, the upwells of cold, bring the molar molar, bring bigger, bigger allergic fish. So we didn't see any this dive, but you, it has the possibilities. You know you can feel it has the possibilities. Um, I just wrote, if you dive here with a more advanced group, I think it might be one of um, Bali's top dive sites. Um, there's also a cavern, um, quite shallow, which was full of white tip sharks. Um, that was really quite cool. Quite a big one in there as well. Um, so the whole potential of that site, even though I've only dived it once, I just felt it had, it, it could be a really great dive site. And particularly if you went around the corner where we didn't go due to the um, open water divers on our boat, 
I just felt it had lots of potential. So I gave that four out of five. I really like that site. Then we went to Tepe Kong, which is right next door to it. So there's three gillies right next door to each other. So the Gile Tepe Kong. Um, now I have looked a little online on this. I believe it's got three dive sites on it. I mean, it's a small island, but I think it's got three distinct areas. Once again, due to the open water divers on the boat, we dived, I believe it's called the Garden. Um, so it had some large boulders, it had some baby white tips under the rocks, which is always quite cool to see. Um, but there's a lot of destroyed coral here as well. So it's, it started off really well with the white tips of turtle, the big rocks, and then it kind of goes into this coral garden. Um, which did have some life, but it wasn't as colourful as Nusa Levongan or Nusa Panida. Um, but I feel there's a dive site on there called the Canyon, which is just around the other side, which I think needs quite an experience level. I get the feeling that could be a much, much better dive. So for this one though, I only gave two, dive, two stars out of five. And then we were supposed to dive uh, Mimi Pang, which is the third one in that little chain of islands, but the uh, current was too strong. Which is a shame, because that one also looked like it possibly had potential. Um, instead we went to dive a uh, site called Turtle Neck. Now, Turtle Neck is in, in, um, so cool, let's start with that. Turtle Neck is so cool, because if you look at the hills um, on the shoreline, it's shaped like a turtle's head, then you've got the neck, and then it goes up into the shell. Quite cool, quite cool name. But um, it's basically uh, Japan, but just a little closer to the shoreline. That was what I got. Um, more artificial reefs, not a lot to see on this dive, um, but it had a nice little current going for it. Um, so I, so I rated it similar to Japan, I didn't think it was so great, and this time it didn't even have a speedboat. So I only gave it two stars out of five. And then today, um, we did the ridiculously long drive up to Tulum Ben. Um, I've done it once before, back in 2014. I've just done it now. I don't think I'll do that dive again. I think I'd rather stay um, at, the, at the terminal or one of the many um, resorts up opposite the wreck if I wanted to dive that wreck again. Because um, three hours up, three hours back again is a really long time to sit in a bus on your holiday. Anyway, um, the Liberty wreck, always great. We actually went in from the opposite end this time, so we stayed on the bow and went down and round. Um, saw a great white tip shark on it, not seen a shark on the wreck before. A couple of turtles, really big grouper. So, in my mind, the Liberty, the wreck of the Liberty, is one of the top dives in eastern Bali. I guess you call that northeastern Bali, but this whole side of Bali, definitely, I would say, the dive to do. And I've given that five stars. And then um, Liddy decided she didn't want to re-dive the wreck again. So I went, okay, so we did the Tulum Bend drop-off. I've not done that. I've assumed um, Tulum Bend doesn't have the greatest dive sites. But we did the drop-off and I was pleasantly surprised. So we drove a little further round. Um, we scrambled over the rocks as you do to get in at Toulon Ben. And again, it's a dive with potential. So it's on the tip of a headland. Um, so it's sandy, sandy bottoms uh, going round. And then all of a sudden there's a drop-off. There's a little bit of a wall and a, and a drop-off on a point. And then it goes back round and it's sandy, sandy, sandy again. But on that on that mini wall as it were and that drop off lots of marine life again I do like the potential you have probably got potential of seeing stuff on there um, we saw little bits and pieces but I mean you've got potential you could probably get a couple of uh, big schools of fish um, if you dive it at the right time so I, re I really like as you probably already um, know by now I really like the idea of the potential of the dive and I think that one also had potential so I gave that four stars out of five. And that's how I rated the dives on our trip. 
pārstāvs.